TK421, why aren't you at your post? TK421, do you copy? Hello, this is Pilot TK421, leaving my post to bring you a post. Alright everybody, I'm over here on my uh, Android account because Android has update 7.9 and point one now I believe. They released a uh, well, small little update uh, today or yesterday for it, uh, probably to address a few issues they were having or whatever, but uh, yeah, anyway, I thought, uh, well, since uh, the update was here on uh, Android, I would play a few matches and uh, at least qualify for League on Android. And since I haven't really done anything with this hangar or account in quite a while, I thought I would go through the uh, hangar here for you and show you what I got going on here. And I managed to win a Lucador in one of the last uh, few... Uh, events here. It was kind of cool to get. Uh, don't really spend any money on this account. I did spend some pocket change on it or whatever, but uh, yeah, mostly uh, just play and stuff like that and grab whatever uh, you know, stuff I can for ads and stuff. Anyway, uh, the Titan I haven't even started to upgrade yet. It's just at level 1 in all the core abilities. I'm just uh, well, trying to see if I'm gonna actually run this right now with the weapons that it has or wait until I get better weapons for it and continue using my Nodens. But as for weapons, I just got two level 16 retaliators and there's a quick look at the uh, stats for you there. And I am running a level 1 Vengeance. I do have a Cataclysm I might toss on there and start leveling up, I don't know. I'm going to try out both of them and see how both of them work and uh, I'll go from there and decide which one I want to use. And as for modules, I just stole all of the ones off of my uh, Nodens there, which is two uh, level 16 self-fix units. And here's a quick look at the stats for those. They heal 1,030 damage every second. And I got a level 15 Cannibal Reactor, and it gives me a 28% increase on uh, damage output. And then I've got a level 16 Quantum Sensor, which gives me uh, well, stealth detection out to 250 meters. And next up we've got the Typhon, it's at level 8, and here's a quick look at the stats for that. And I'm running level 9 Wasps and Sinister Pulsars on it, and here's a quick look at the stats for those. And here's a quick look at the uh, Sinister Pulsars. And as for modules, I just have a thermonuclear reactor, an anti-control, and a advanced repair unit for now, until I figure out uh, what I'm going to be doing with this uh, robot and stuff. And I've got the Luis Duncan Limited, well, sorry, Legendary Pilot. Uh, he's just got the Mechanic Typhon skill, and it's only Grace, so i got to get that leveled up or something. And next up, we've got the Revenant. I managed to get enough components over the last few events to uh, actually build one out of the uh, event chest, so I was kind of happy about that. Uh, it's at level 8 as well. And here's a quick look at the stats for you. And I got level 8 Cryptic Redeemer and level 8 Magnums for weapons. Uh, it's pretty much uh, all I have at the moment. I gotta level up some other weapons that I have on this account. I got a lot of work to do on this account, actually, but, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, at level 8, here's a look at the, uh, Redeemer stats. And here's a look at the Magnums. And as for modules, I'm just running an armor kit a last stand module and a repair unit which I will actually swap out for the advanced repair unit 
And here's a quick look at the uh, pilot skills. I've got uh, Ricardo Gonzalez, and uh, yeah, let's see how that one works. Next up, we've got the Raker, and I managed to get up to, up to uh, level 12. And here is a uh, well, quick look at what it looks like to uh, enhance that uh, Mark II. And uh, yeah, Magnetars, I'm running those. I have them at level 8, and here's a quick look at the stats for those. And I'm also running a Biomechanoid Nucleon on this account as well. And as for modules, I've just got a Heavy Armor Kit, an Anti-Control, and a Regular Armor Kit with an Advanced Repair Unit. And here's a look at the uh, pilot skills for you. And next up we have the uh, Hawk, it's also at level 8. And here's a quick look at the stats there. And I'm just running a set of uh, level 7 futuristic uh, energy machine guns. So I got the futuristic quarker here. Let's look at the stats for those. And level 7 futuristic nucleons. And there's a quick look at the stats for those. And as for modules, I've got a thermonuclear reactor, an anti control, and an advanced repair unit and here's a quick look at the pilot skills. And last but not least we have the Ojun and uh, well, I just got Punishers on, or sorry Avengers on it uh, for the moment until I find something better I might toss Vipers or something on it maybe even Calamities who knows but uh, here's a quick look at the uh, level 12 stats in the Avenger And here's a quick look at the uh, modules. I've got an overdrive and a anti-control with a shield breaker module. And here's a quick look at the pilot skills. And when last I was playing this uh, account, it looks like I was uh, I'm just sitting in Master One League, so. I will be uh, seeing how that goes with my uh, League Challenge and whatnot here coming up and qualifying for League. So with that being said, not much else to uh, go through in this hangar or anything like that. So I think that I will just duck on out and I will bring you some heavily medicated gameplay from my Android account. So stick around. <laughs>